I think I touched some I touched something on the on the chat and I might have break something. So hmm. Anyway. Right, okay, so um <clears throat> I'm a little bit recovering still from um uh, my first COVID experience, so um yeah, not hundred percent. So I thought, yeah, let's do something simple to get in the flow. Um and I'm going to continue working on the to the platformer kind of project in Haskell. Um I have I had a request from someone in YouTube. Um if I could make the phone bigger. So I made it a little bit bigger, but yeah I can I don't like going further than that because the wire is not going to have space to actually I don't have a big resolution in my in my screen so hopefully this helps and it's more readable but anyway cool so I think what I'm going to do I try to make the entire stage animation so the moment when you get in the stage um, it's just uh, you are unvulnerable, vulnerable, blah, 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 blah. So, um, basically, the player, we can see in this one, so it just blinks. So it means that you are unvulnerable. Um, but, hey, Pierce, how you doing? And, but I don't, I'm not sure if I like that too much. Um, and because I have the transitions for the door, I thought we could be using some of this animation we have already uh, to just make the player appear. So, um, look at that sprite sheet we have here. Um, so for the exit we have, yeah, but this is one thing I don't like too much. I mean, considering that this is my own format for the spreadsheet. Cool. So I think maybe I should have done it differently here because, um, I, I mean, I've been, it's been like 10 days since the last time I, I wrote anything, uh, in this project and not completely sure if I remember what are these things. I mean, I know what are the sets, but you know, 11, 11, 5, 5. So this is probably going. All right. Okay. So it's probably this twice and then disappear, right? So I can try that. Maybe, and maybe it's just going to the brightness of the door fully open. Then we show the player a sprite, and when we go by it and disappear. <clears throat> Hello, Chris. Are you an artist? Cool. I'm not. I'm not an artist. Um, I can draw a little bit. Not too much. I'm not. Not really an artist. So I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to try one of those and see how it goes. Uh, I'm not completely sure. I mean, we can. Mm. So at the moment. I think it's going to be it's going to look better if it goes the the reverse, right? So it's going to be wow, into it's going to be appearing, right? Zero, one, two, three. 
and then 11 11 and we will show the we will show the player all right so now let's see if i can remember how this works um so what did exit do because it's going to be similar to this action exit on all right so i guess see I, I i think the font is too big now but i split in the screen and if if it's too big i can't do that right so so action exit started action exit done so action we can do action <clears throat> no let's take a look let's take a look how, how the exit really works because we didn't stay here we made so i made some changes we looked at the stage so so level completed so this is what we're going to use because if I recall correctly, um, I think in the entities, um, so, 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 update entities. Oh, if state level completed is not exit off. Oh, okay, because the exit is all right. So exit off is when it's zero, right? So, 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 so a level completed is uh, is in a state. So I think we can repurpose this. So level completed is an exit state. We can have another one. <clears throat> so exit off, started and exit on. And what is it doing actually? So, 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 so. Okay, so that's when it's going to be, when it's going to control the transition. So level completed, exit done, then we spawn the next level. That's not what we want. And then is the action that is transitioning the, le the status, right? Uh, I was in entities then. So action, exit started. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And if it's exit done, we basically set the status to exit done. Hmm. All right. So I guess we can have an action. If we don't. Right? And when the action entry is done, then we level completed, we say no exit done. Uh, we can call it entry done. It doesn't exist. Uh, no. Then it's going to be exit off. Okay, perfect. And we need to have another type of state here. So exit off is when the exit is not available. Exit start is when we start into the exit. And exit on is when we have left. Uh, 
but we can't use exit tone because exit tone is what we use to spawn into the next level so i guess we can we can say exit entry And <clears throat> okay, so in game now, in game, it was in game, yeah, probably. So we have initial state. It's not going to be exit off, it's going to be exit entry and level state. It's going to be exit entry and exit entry. The only thing it's going to do mm, no, exit entry is not going to do anything. So, this is what we're going to use as a flag. In, in the game loop, right? So I think that's going to be it. And then we create the player, we instantiate the player as normal, but we're going to have one effect that is going to be just whatever is the door effect we do and when it's finished it's going to create the action exit done sorry the action entry done that is going to disable the exit yeah that sounds like maybe so can we do it as an effect It's an effect, really. It's maybe a type of effect. Uh, yeah, but we need to do something at the end, right? And at the moment, the only thing this thing does is it goes through all the frames in the frame set and it destroys the. It destroys. Why oh, destroys it removes from the list the entity uh, can we reuse this can we reuse this hmm. I don't think we can it has to do something with this this last one last one there's no can we make a case for the exit I mean this does more things it's missing the action see other than that it's exactly the same Can we? I just make an, an entry. And, and see who looks. So make entry. Let's get the spreadsheet. It doesn't need collision. Because we're not going to do that. So 
Megan tree. Sprites X Y. Uh, it doesn't have gradation, so and it's going to be very similar to this, right? So it's going to X the spreadsheet and then instead of data, it's a great entry. Let's get this and put it in the bottom, on the bottom. And maybe then I can move it. So, effect. so it's going to be exactly this. It's going to be just like this. But it's going to be a update entry. And it has to be pure, right? do that and then in actions it has to be one action that it is action entry done Get the player, blah 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 blah, and then traverse. Twenty mm -hmm. has the player reference, and then the object, blah blah blah. Right. Okay, so I think I'm not completely sure. I mean, we need to do it like this because uh, I can't really make the these new entities from the player because reasons. Because I'm using a layer red, so I can't have access to the player and collisions, for example. So. I guess we can do whatever. I mean, I like it because no, it has to be like this because it's a reference, right? So, blah 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 blah. Effect. It's going to be we make entry the sprites and then it's going to be whatever the player is going to be <clears throat> that returns IO so perfectly it's an entity now and now this can be player So that should do it. Okay. It's close, but 
No, because the frame set, uh, the set is not this one. Oh, I need to change this. This is terrible. So it's the third set, right? So. <laughs> So why? Yeah, I think that's not that's not great, is it? I mean, I'm not completely thrilled, but that's a job, right? I don't like it to be honest. So, so we can just have the entry, can we? Can we get rid of the exit? And then, do I need to date Cabal every time? Anybody knows that? You know, like, so now I have a, an entry, right? So do I need to date this otherwise? I don't know. There's a way of not having to do it like this. Oh, exit. One here because it's probably to have it there. So, right, okay. That's not working. Why not? Oh, because. I did update this and it's entry. Um, what? Oh, okay, because an, ent an entity is. I need to add now the entry. Okay, that works. Uh, okay, so... So the entry is fine. Uh, let's take a look to... To this, so... <clears throat> Actually, I'm a little bit surprised about this because I thought uh, the language server is going to suggest me why you don't do blah, 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 something magic and better than this, but it didn't do it, so okay. Um, maybe we can change the order. This, perhaps, do I get it with that? This is fine. I think that was kind of clean. 
Yeah, new type. She's fine. Maybe we can ask this to be much better. Okay. Oh, sorry. And the state. That's fine. I mean, yeah, because it's sexy, the state. <laughs> <clears throat> what do we call that? Yeah, yes. I'm going to leave it like that. Can't think. That's my excuse today. Um, okay, so. Um, there was something I didn't like, and it was. Uh, in entities, there is something I've been okay, 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 okay. Let's see if this is okay, and I can copy this and then try to fix the other bit. I think that's fine. And this appears here. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to copy this. So that's fine. Now, the thing I didn't like is in entities. Is the fact that no, what is that? These types, this direction. This is what I don't like. I think I, I using that. I'm using that too much. In this there should be a set here and this dying here could go away obviously now everything is broken so set equals to uh, so I have something that is uh, no details no come on all right okay yeah not really a direction yeah that's fine okay so so sprite set there hey. so i'm happy to do that but when we draw Hello, Observer Herb. Thank you for the raid. I'm afraid I'm not very... I'm not an expert in Twitch. I don't know what that means. Hopefully, it doesn't mean that you're going to burn the village or anything like that. Oh, you bring friends. Excellent. I like friends. Hey, Dark Tomic. You bring friends. <laughs> this is Python. No, it's not, I'm afraid. It's a love hoarder, observer have. Thank you. 
Thank you for the right. It's not Python. This is Haskell. Not Pillagin. That's a good thing. I've never been fond of Pillagin, to be honest. <laughs> um, right, 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 right. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even, I don't think I can even compile the code right now to show you how it goes, but yeah, I'm trying to make a 2D platformer, kind of. Um, i never seen Pascal. Yeah, Pascal. I wrote some Pascal many years ago. So what drove the choice of Haskell SDL combination? Um, it's Haskell, Haskell, yes, it's Haskell. Um, I think it was because I was, yeah, yeah, I say Haskell. Pascal, Haskell, it, this is Haskell. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was looking for a project to write, have an excuse to write Haskell. And and I found that the, there are some bindings for the SDL that they look nice. And I mean, I don't have a lot of experience with Haskell, but I have experience making games. So I thought, well, let's try, see how it goes. I mean, it's kind of different, but because, you know, immutable variables, you know, values, not, not variables. Everything is immutable and and sometimes you need to do some funny stuff to do it functional, but it's, it's interesting. I mean, it's, I'm doing it for fun. I mean, this is not my job. I don't do games for a living, which is a good thing for everybody. Right. So what I'm trying to do right now is that I was misusing a property on the, on the entities to actually control also the frame set. And that's a bad idea. And, you know, I got to weird situations where I had direction, you know, the, the entities facing left, facing light, right, or is dying, which is not a direction. So yeah, I'm going to remove that. And in cases, for example, the player has left and right, and now it's going to, we need to update the set. Which is going to be a little bit annoying, but you know. But it means that in other entities that there is no set, sorry, there is no direction, uh, we can. I don't know, maybe you should be doing this differently. What if. Hmm, I'm wondering, I mean, my, maybe it's just handling the. the the sprite set, the set in the sprite sheet. Um, because in reality, I mean, I'm doing double work here. And then in the places where there is no direction, it means, okay, let, let's make the change. Let's make the change and, and see how it looks. Because it is possible that by looking at how it looks, uh, oh, but that means, uh, now it's, everything is going to be slightly broken, right? So, yeah, but for example, instead of changing direction, right? We know the set, set is going to be the set two because zero is facing to the left, to the right or the left. Yeah, zero is facing to the right, left is, is one, and two is just the animation when you're dying, right? All right, okay. That, that sounds like potentially a good thing. Okay, now let's start changing things because everything is broken. We added a new property, we don't have value for it, so... <laughs> Okay, so the set is now going to be two, which is... And for the direction, what do we do? Right, that's the default. 
so it really doesn't matter, does it? Okay, so that player, if set is not too, it's just not great, is it? There's a magic number here. Okay, we can just have a constant here. Okay, it's not being used. Dying set. And so... Do, 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 do. We change that somewhere. So... set no I, I made a change somewhere else so if set is not the dying set do blah blah blah, blah. but we set the set somewhere <clears throat> so let me find that oh we need to say that the dying set is an integer that's why it's maybe complaining the dying set is an integer so left and right that's fine blah 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 we're happy with that yeah the dying dying I changed that somewhere I don't remember where maybe not in this file um, why is complaining about this block? An expected block in function application with IO controls. Oh, because that was missing. All right. So where do I set the dying value? Mm -mm 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 -mm. There was any change here? No. In entities? Yeah, here. So. the die is set which is coming from the player right oh no but it's not being exported so let's export that yes it doesn't have magic numbers we don't like magic numbers because they're magic and in in a month two months i'm not going to remember what is that set number two right Maybe it should be playing player, player, dying set. We can change that. So, identity, right, okay. So this is for the effect. See, this is when it starts to look better because set is going to be zero. And we don't care about direction anymore. This is the exit. Same thing. We don't care about directions anymore. This is the battery. The battery doesn't have direction either. See? It's all benefit. What an what did I do? Which is this one is the robot. Uh, okay, so the robot has direction. So this is uh, to sprite set with. It really doesn't matter because we know which one it is, but let's do that. So yeah. So set to sprite set. Right, 
Ooh, uh, uh. Yeah, okay. And but, 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 but when we change direction to the left, wait to sec here. So spice set there left. Cool. And the last one is the slime. And the slime is basically the same as the robot, I believe. Because no, does it have left and right? I don't think it does, but maybe I did it because using the direction to select the set was hacky. <laughs> it has two sets. I mean, yeah, I mean, the slime has to be simple, right? But it's going to be the same. We don't care. So, set is going to be zero. We change direction, but we don't change the set because there's only one set. Better. This is much better. There are no complaints for the compiler. Compiler. All right, so there is something that there's something that the compiler is not going to tell us, and it's that we need to use the set now for the render, right? And we are not going to use this anymore. We're going to use the set from the entity. All right, okay. Will this break? Well, the Haskell compiler is very complaining. Okay, the crash. Okay, so something, somewhere. I'm not using the right set. Mm. Let's think for a second. That is something not right. Okay. Uh, what if is... Okay, it's the entry, I believe. So the entry is in the set number. Two. All right, because frame limit needs to use. Ha ha ha! It's going to be great. The more I think about this change, the more I like it. It was just wrong the way it was before. All right. So that was a lot of changes for nothing. I mean, so the enemies move the same. Let's see if I can, the character dies the same. Yeah, it does. So that looks like it's doing what it needs to do. That's not what it should be doing. <laughs> okay. So that's in exit because in exit, see, it doesn't make sense. Why we need to change direction? The door doesn't, the door looks the same left or right. So that's not the point. It's the set what it needs to be changed, which is now set one. If we don't like magic numbers, we can say closing door set. Probably don't need to do this, but I like it. So, and it's going to be now two, it's going to be one. In here, so we don't have the magic number, so. Closing door set. That is much better. Right, so now, hopefully, ooh, it's not, it's not quite right, is it? Hmm.
is failing on me update once because when the set is wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute okay 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 that's it yeah because obviously i was using the direction as a flag in places that i i shouldn't uh which means that you know i was just overusing some functionality yay that works fine Yeah, I think this is perfect. Yeah, I like it. And I can't see anything funny with the enemies. So, I mean, the slime now is using the same frame set. And yeah, I mean, it has two frames. So having a fake one, so I could pretend that the oh thank you commander keen that that's that's a compliment <laughs> um so now you know I, I was just making a fake set just to just to justify you know misusing things otherwise now it makes more sense and the same thing for the the same thing for the for the batteries. I mean, I have only one battery for testing, but let's add a couple more, right? Okay, like this. Yeah, of course, I mean, it's not going to change anything. <clears throat> okay, so um, let's take a look. So this said we don't need that anymore. Uh, the dying direction again. <laughs> what for? Right? You're looking left. You're looking right. But when you when the sprite the the character is there is dying it's, it doesn't make sense changing that. It's very hacky. It was very hacky. I think now it's it's better. And then we just use whatever the property the set properties in the entity to render the right sprite instead of converting the direction into a sprite set. Yeah, you know the dying the dying. It's not really a direction, so it was kind of. Mm, this is okay now because we had to use the set. Uh, you know, I mean, there are some numbers here that I kind of. I'm going to use that again. I mean, it's also a little bit ugly that I need to set a direction, but. It's okay, I think. So, okay. So, let's extract that. So, this is in the entry opening door set. And it's going to be through in some. I think it's nicer like that, right? And then the closing door set. And now we check the set. Although checking with zero, okay. So still a magic number, right? Maybe you could check in that it's not a closing door set, right? Hmm. Uh, 
damage to the hand. This is better. So instead of you doing this, we can say it's not closing dot set. Which is better. Actually, let's try it. Just in case I have wrong something, but I don't think I have. Yeah, that's fine. So opening stays there. Same. Perfect. Um, cool. That was cool. Then the dying set. Mm, maybe. Because I'm exporting it, right? Yeah, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to have any other set that is dying set that is not the player dying set, I think. And even if I do, I think we can just agree that it's going to be always the same set. Maybe I can move this to a different place, but looks okay. So set, that's fine. This, well, we need to update the set, but there's nothing else we can do there. That's absolutely fine as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to take the set. There's nothing we can do in the robot. And in the slime, we don't need to take the set. We just add in the set. It's always going to be set zero. Uh, direction, that's absolutely fine now because we only have left and right. This is perfect. I like it. not really my plan for today but I'm I'm really pleased with how clean this the code is and just works the same so and that transition is cool I mean uh, uh, it's kind of weird when you get into the the stage right but I think it's fine for now I mean this game it is it, you know the idea was to make something simple like um, a little bit like a type of game you make in a game jam but then my five-year-old has started to give me ideas, so it may be a little bit bigger than expected, but I don't want to do it. I mean, it doesn't have to be an amazing game. For now, you know, <laughs> if the transition in the stage looks a little bit funny, it's okay. Cool. Well, I think I'm going to stop here right now because, you know, as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I'm still recovering from COVID, so um, I don't want to abuse. So it's been about one hour. I got a few things done, got new friends. Yeah, thank you, Observer. Thank you for the raid. You know, got new friends. So I think this, this session has been very, very successful and we got rid of some nasty code it's looking great now so yeah well thank you thank you very much observer and everybody that was in the chat that that atomic i think it was yes and rampant actor i'll see you next time then bye thank you